Hi, my name is Patrick Bartmas, and this is a series on being a caregiver for a parent. When my mother was living at home with me, I started noticing signs of anxiety in her behavior. And this is natural for a person who's starting to lose their short-term memory. It can be quite alarming if you are sitting in a room and you suddenly realize that you don't remember where you are. Or if you're talking with somebody and he's referring to events that just happened, but you don't remember them. So I started searching for ways to help her alleviate her anxiety. And one of them, of course, is drugs. Um, I've never used the drugs that I'll be coming, commenting about in this video. In fact, um, I had very limited interaction with doctors before I started taking care of my mom. So everything I learned, basically, has been addressed to this purpose, taking care of somebody who has dementia. So this is a reflection on how I tried to manage my mom's health using every resource I could find, including medicine that was prescribed by her doctors. One of the methods they proposed was using SSRIs. And these are chemicals that try to adjust the serotonin levels in the brain. And they were initially designed to uh, treat de depression. Researchers also found that they can help alleviate anxiety. So now they're commonly uh, prescribed to people who have dementia. When mom lived at home, I declined the doctor's proposals to use SSRIs because we were successful in managing her anxiety without them. Uh, I used diet and exercise, behavioral interventions, energy work and massage. That is a subject for another video. When she moved into the facility, I was no longer able to manage her life with as much precision as I was before. So we needed medicine to act in the place of the measures I was using. Obviously, I should note here that there are a few other factors that influenced my decision to rely more heavily on medicine. However, the main reason was that in the institutional environment, filled with strangers, with only a few caregivers to serve a large community, she simply was not able to handle it without chemical assistance. I'm not against pharmaceutical drugs. I've seen them greatly improve some of my friends' lives when nothing else helped. I only avoided SSRIs because I knew that once a person starts using them, it is very difficult to stop, especially for a person with progressive dementia who's uh, unable to communicate their emotional state and can't tell a doctor, this isn't working, we need to try something else, or my life is improved for the better, I don't think I need these anymore. They just keep taking them for the rest of their lives and the dosage keeps increasing. I feel awful when I see my mom in that druggy, sedated state. She's not happy. She's not full of vitality. She's not even peaceful. She's just not anxious. <laughs> I feel a mixture of sadness seeing that and anger that she has to do that and relief that maybe some of her anxiety has been alleviated. I wish she didn't have to take that drug. I wish she wasn't in that facility. I wish I could help her. My only comfort is that I know that she's safe and she's comfortable. She's getting her basic needs met by people who genuinely seem to want to help her. Watching her medicine increase for me is simply a sign that I've entered another stage where I need to say goodbye again. 
If you are caring for a loved one, I want to encourage you to face these stages realistically and deal with the emotions as they come up. I feel like a mess much of the time, but I know that it's better than shoving the emotions aside to deal with them later when it's all over. It's healthier to deal with them now. Good luck. Thanks for watching.